So now we're going to talk about finding elements in WebDriver.js. Let me open up our app here. So on this app, the functionality is pretty simple on the home page. We basically type in an email in the input, user at email.com, and that enables this button because if you noticed, it was disabled to begin with. And then after you type in your email, it becomes enabled, and then you can click it. Once you request the invitation, then eventually you get an alert confirming that everything worked. So we need to find this input, find this button, and find this alert. Let's go back to our code. Now, the way to find elements in WebDriver.js is using the find elements command. Find elements. Boom. And that's it. And here, if you type in find element, you will get a rundown of what it does with some basic examples. But if you remember here, we called WebDriver by and WebDriver until. This is when we get to start using WebDriver by, the by method of, of the WebDriver instance. So we're going to do by and then by CSS because you need to find the locator. You need to define the locator. So we, we're defining it because if you look now at WebDriver by, by, you'll see all these different methods. So describes the mechanism for locating an element on the page. And what we're going to look at right now are these. So you can target an element by class name. So here, let's look at the input. Inspect. My virtual machine's running a bit slow. I might have to start recording these on Windows just to make things speedier. On my 8 gig laptop, this virtual machine seems to struggle. Okay, so here we have the class, and if we targeted class names, we'd have to choose one of these, right? What are the other options? Then we have by CSS and by ID. By ID would mean that we would target this here, Ember 449. Now, even though having an ID is convenient, this is clearly an ID that's generated by Ember, Ember.js, and that's not reliable because it's subject to change depending on the app. That's why the best strategy that I always use is by CSS selector. And that is simply the CSS to the element that you want to target. It's the same as if you're writing straight basic HTML and CSS and in the CSS you wanted to style an, an HTML element, you target it by its selector. So here, if you want the CSS selector, you can actually ask Chrome to give it to you by copying the selector. Copy selector, and let me paste it here. It, it decided to go for the ID. If there's an ID, it'll always define the selector by its ID, but let's delete that. All right, and now let's do copy selector. Right click in the inspector and copy, copy selector. Now let's see what it gives us without an ID. It gives us this long path, CSS path to the selector. Now, a lot of times this could be necessary in a big app depending on how it was built. Sometimes you'll find that developers build apps without giving them descriptive IDs or class names or anything. And so then you wind up with selectors like this. Fortunately, on this app we won't have to do that because this, this element that we're targeting is an input. There's not a lot going on on this page. So clearly this is the only input on this app and uh, on this page. If you inspect, just to confirm that this is indeed an input, yep, it's an input. So we can target this element by input, by the input CSS selector. So here we just write input and that's it. The next element that we want to find is, actually let's see what happens if we run this right now. Uh, let me clear this and let's try it again.
Interesting. What did I do here? I think this is something that I typed in earlier. And I forgot to save this file. Yep. So let me save this file. Now let me run this again. So what should happen, and let me remove the 10 second mark. I'll do one second. Or actually, no, I will do no seconds. Okay. So as soon as it finds it, it should quit the browser and close the browser. If it does not find the element, it'll throw an error and the browser will not close. So let's run it. Spins up the browser. And it closes it because it found the element and this job was done. So it proceeded to the driver quit command. Awesome. So now let me reinstate this. Okay. The next element we need to find is uh, the button here. So the button, it's kind of the same situation. Now the button, because it's disabled, it won't even let me right click it. But I believe we can just find it right here. There you go. And that's the, the button class. And it's a button. So we could also do the same thing here. We could target the button, but I'm thinking that maybe these nav elements up here might be buttons as well, bootstrap buttons. So let me actually copy the selector in this case. All right, you get this long path. A lot of times you'll find that you can truncate this path and you don't need to do all this. Um, like right now, it's target. It's actually targeting. It's target. It's targeting the the element type, the button, and it's not targeting the classes. But I'm thinking that button large. It's the only button large that's on this page. Therefore, that should be an adequate selector. All right. So once again, driver find element by dot CSS all lowercase. And then class was button LG. Okay. And then we're going to look for the alert right here. So this is the only alert on the page. So I'm going to target the alert success class. Driver find element by CSS and the class was alert dash success okay all right yep that should all be correct so now let's let's test this out by is not defined because I did not capitalize it all right my keyboard acting funky all right again spins up the browser and what happened here No such element. Alert success. Huh. Oh, right, of course. Duh. All right. Uh, no, no. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Clear. All right. Got to close all these. Close. So I know what happened. Basically, I asked it to look for an element that wasn't there yet because the alert success, um, it only appears after you typed in your email. So we're going to learn how to do that. But before, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that in the next video where we're going to actually type in the input and click the button and then check this, all right? We're going to do that in the next video. But before that, 
Um, we're going to talk about finding multiple elements because, oh, and I closed the app, but that's fine. So, driver dot find elements by CSS. All right. This is the exact same thing as finding element. Uh, here, I did find elements as well. That was a mistake, but it works either way, whether there's one or more elements. And that's when you want to find a bunch of different elements, right? Um, in our app, let's spin this up. going to just call this again. You get the error because it cannot find alert success. In our app, we have this nav bar here. And we will want to, to eventually find, you know, maybe confirm that all the nav elements are here. So one way we can do that is by using find elements. The only problem here is that there's not much that we can do n like merely just finding it. We're going to have to interact with these elements in order to confirm certain things about the array of elements stored by this method. So alright, find elements and let's see how I can target the nav bar. All right, so this is an unordered list. So pretty straightforward. I can just target the nav class and then all li elements. So we're going to do nav li. OK. And this, for now, will have to go. And Chrome here, let me click Chrome. Okay, it found everything, and it's closing. So let me um, let me show you one thing that we can do, just to confirm that everything ran. And we're going to chain a promise here. We're gonna we're gonna console log that these things worked. Okay. Success. Let's actually. So most of these methods return a promise, and you can extract values from them. I actually do not know. I've never done this with find element because I'm I forget what it returns. I think it might just return an empty promise, but I'm not sure. So console log let's say found the button and then plus the element and then here the same I'm gonna say array because this should return an array so console log um, found the elements you wanted and then array plus array okay I forgot the semicolons okay I can save this and run this again. Okay, so just object, meaning the the actual web element that was found. So success, it worked, right? But then what's being returned is the web element object. So that's why we just get object. And here we find the array this is the array of objects returned 
from the find multiple elements method. Now, what we're going to have to do eventually is when we want to, we have to specify what we want to retrieve from, the, from these objects. And we're going to do that using a, a couple of methods that I'll introduce in the next video. But for now, this is a pretty simple and straightforward introduction on how to find elements in WebDriverJS, how to find single elements, how to find multiple elements. And in the next video, we're going to tackle the issue of the alert success that pops up. So, see you in the next video.